Greetings, my fellow YouTubers. God of Gold here. Now, what I'm about to talk about today is something that is highly anticipated. And it has been anticipated for about three years now. It was supposed to be released last year, but it was never released last year due to the pandemic which is wreaking havoc on society still. Um, but that's not what I'm here to talk about today. I'm here to talk about Venom 2, aka Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Now, this version of Carnage looks spectacular. The realistic sleep design that it has is just unbelievable and frankly I was a little worried beforehand when they were teasing this last year yes uh, if you noticed uh, if you're on my channel I did in fact post a teaser about it but I wasn't sure if it was 100% legit if it is, and someone saw the movie, um, well, I don't want to promote spoilers, but if that really is true, then, yeah, I guess that's, it's in there. So, here's my biggest question for the end of this movie, and this is nothing about spoilers. This is strictly theory. Now... Granted, something could come up in the movie that we don't know of. It could become actual canon for it. Now, I don't know what could happen to Carnage at the end of this whole fiasco with him and Brock. Um, Woody Harrelson's Cletus Cassidy. Yes, Cletus Cassidy. If you don't know who he is, he's from the comics. He was the original host for Carnage himself. So... He was also, yeah, he was in the comics. Go check him out. Look him up on the internet. I'm sure you guys will find it. But the point here is, okay, according to the Ultimate Spider-Man universe, now, we haven't seen Spidey here at all, but according to the Ultimate Spider-Man universe, Peter Parker gets a hold of the Carnage symbiote in that version. This time, it's Woody Harrelson's Cletus Cassidy, as I mentioned. So, Cletus Cassidy gets a hold of this symbiote. I'm not going to reveal anything for those who have not seen the trailer of how specifically he got it. So, you know, give me some... Cut me some slack here, okay? I'm trying not to reveal everything. Um, as I previously stated, that I'm trying to avoid teasers. Now, this is strictly theory. How will Carnage fare against Venom? Well, Carnage is said to be stronger than Venom. However, Venom can hold his own against a symbiote like him. I mean, hell, look at Riot of what happened with him back in 2018 now this that movie got mixed to average reviews from critics but overall it was a solid movie not a groundbreaking movie but it definitely made something it made a good headway in terms of the media and it has taken everything by storm now, don't get me wrong, it's not a super, super fantastic movie. Yes, there are plenty of flaws, but aside from that, it was good. At least in my opinion. If you guys want to share your opinion about it, tell me in the comments down below. Now, back to the situation at hand. So, what would happen with Carnage? Could Venom get his symbol on his chest? You know, the, the spider symbol that he is heavily iconic for having by the way and he did not get that or have that in the first one which makes sense because it's trying to explain the backstory b 
behind it's based off the comic the original comic when brock first got the symbiote which is a great form of utilizing venom in a certain way bringing him into the cinematic universe possibly the mcu i don't know don't quote me on that um now what will be really awesome is uh this is a theory i think i heavily believe that at the end of the movie i could be wrong venom may try to rip the carnage symbiote out of Cassidy I don't know if it will kill him for sure or it might weaken him because that has had a history with that too when you rip a symbiote out of you and you try to unbind with it uh, it may make you weak unless if you have someone like spider-man's abilities which are enhanced genetically via spider bite um there's a chance that you'll survive from it but if you're just an ordinary person you may have a little bit more of serious side effects in terms of unbinding from a symbiote now i think uh venom may consume carnage in at the end of this now this is not official at least not to what my recollection is if it is official maybe down the road if because i don't know when actually no it's this october a couple months from now the videos the movie's coming out so what we need to do is yes we'll watch it of course or at least a good amount of you will i'm sure because it looks very it looks awesome i will say that but i do believe that is one way he could get that uh, symbol on his chest. That most iconic thing uh, Venom could have from the comics. So either consuming him or I'm actually hearing rumors there's two more villains coming in. Now they say it's uh, another symbiote called Null. And another one called Shriek, which I am hoping that they may play some good side villains. But aside from that, Carnage is the main center of this film. So, I mean, <laughs> the title's in the name. I mean, what else can I say? He's, that's, that's Carnage. So, um, <laughs> I hope... We can see something soon, maybe, you know, we'll see Venom get his symbol. I don't know if he will, so don't quote me on that. I don't know. This is strictly a theory, okay? So don't go out in the media saying, oh, this is official. No, it's not, okay? I am telling you, that is my, I don't want, I don't know if it's opinion but it's definitely a theory. A theory. You theorize it. You try to factor what could happen. You assume. You know? You anticipate. As, you know, anticipating the movie is itself. Um, anyways, that's pretty much all I have to mention for right now. I know it's not that long of a video, and you guys probably expected longer. Or maybe it did a decent time. Who knows? I'll have to check the recording. But until next time, folks, God of Gold is out.